show you that you're going to get this carafe. In the bottom of this carafe, you're going to find a very different looking disc made and designed so that when you put things in here, it incorporates air at a much faster rate. Correct. So it thickens things almost immediately. You're going to make a mayonnaise in here. It's going to make you cry. That's it's unbelievable. So good. You're also going to be able to do whipped cream in here. That's amazing. We had this on the last time and it sold out in minutes. That's right. I want to tell you right now so you'll hear me and not be confused. No matter what Vitamix model you own, no matter which one you have, this fits on it, doesn't it? Correct. It will fit on every Vitamix. Every single Vitamix made, this air disc, or especially this, will. F and you're only getting this. You're not getting the the, uh, the blender. Nope. You're just getting the carafe, but and the and the tamper and the uh, right. and, and the recipes. But what's going to happen here is you're going to see a very different result than you, you would in the regular Vitamix. Craft. Yeah, so let's jump right in. You just said our traditional blade design, as we were just showing you previously on the Vitamix machine we just sold. This is the first change in 17 years, Dave. That disc is going to allow you to aerate, uh, muddle, emulsify, whip, whisk, all these things you couldn't do with the other blades. Here I have non-fat milk. You know those cold foam coffees that you pay seven, eight, nine dollars for? Right. Non-fat milk. Okay, no milk at all. I'm going to turn it on and start it on low speed. I want to show you what happens. We're going to turn this all the way up to about, I don't know, I'd say about five. Okay. And what's happening here, David, inside is it's incorporating air into this milk. And I'm going to just open this up. I want to show you something. you got to get an overhead here. Watch. This goes from non-fat milk. Take a look inside here. And it literally is turning it into this thick, silky cream. You cannot believe non-fat milk. This looks like a heavy whipped cream. And just like that, David. This, I want to show you when I pour this, okay? Now take a look take into a look the at coffee. This, into the coffee. Now, this is what they're doing at those fancy, fancy coffee shops. I mean, you would never believe, and that's the design of this blade. It took us a long time to design this because it's a lot of testing, Dave, that went into this, but that is a special blade. I mean, non fat milk. You can't believe that. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then, of course, you might sprinkle that with something. Yeah, a little cocoa, you know, a little nutmeg, cinnamon, you know, something. nutmeg. Now, this is the other thing, this blade, I got so excited. Again, <laughs> somebody at a restaurant, we used to have to slave to make things like hollandaise. Oh, of course. So we're talking about emulsifying. Hollandaise could be one of those things so many people struggle with. I have egg yolks, a little bit of lemon juice, and some hot sauce, right? Okay. That's it. Now, we're going to start this again. Always start it on the slower speed first, and then we're going to slowly turn this up, probably about two egg, set about an eight, okay? And then we're going to let that run for a second or two, let the eggs whip into some air, and then simply what I'm going to do, David, is, is I'm going to incorporate the hot butter, okay? And what we're doing is we're tempering Correct. that mixture with the, with the hot butter, Yeah. So the melted butter. How many times have you gone to that amazing brunch or you've gone to that restaurant and they make that hollandaise and you try to make it at home? This does all the technical hard work for you. The difference between this and the best restaurant is nothing except it's easy as can be and anybody can do it. You're going to create a restaurant quality hollandaise that people are going to think that you went to culinary school to learn to make. Oh my gosh, David. And you know what? The fact that I can do it in seconds, just put the eggs and the lemon juice in there, I want you to see how beautiful this is. 600 of these are gone and you didn't even pick up a whisk. I did not pick up a whisk. I want you to take a look at this. I mean, you could not look at the find a better look at this. I mean, you want to talk about Oh, five star on. restaurant hollandaise. Dave, you got to take it. Uh, you know, I'm going to put this here. I want you to take this. Here, take a Beautiful. taste. I want to taste. Take a taste of Let this. Taste. Tell me what you think of that. I mean, I mean, it's it's almost hard it's, to believe how first easy. Of all, it's got a lot of butter in it, but which yeah. I really enjoy. <laughs> mm. It is unbelievably creamy and Cream thick. Texture. And decadent. And oh my word. And I would be here for an hour with yeah. Swiss trying to do that kind of thing. And it wouldn't it wouldn't come out as uniform. Let me tell you, we've yeah. now taken orders for. Yeah, sure. And we're going to write down here. 800 of these. Okay. I do want to show you what you're getting. Yep. These sold out in minutes the last okay. time we had them on the air. You're going to get the carafe. Now, this carafe will work on every Vitamix model in existence. So no matter which Vitamix you have at home, this will work on your machine. You also get um, the air disc container uh, booklet and a tamper should you need it. So all this coming together for $99.98 and six easy payments on the credit card. We are over $46 less than retail on this and it will work on any Vitamix model you own. If you are thinking about putting this on Ooh, your Q card. That's a big card. <laughs> well, it's already on six pay. But if you apply for a Q card, now yours might not be as big as mine. 
try not to be jealous. <laughs> but if you apply for a cue card and you get approved and you make a purchase of over $25, we'll put a $40 account credit oh, on wow. your account. So think about this. In the future, you'll be able to take $40 off this price that you put on your new cue card. Wow. Today would be a very good day to apply. I'm just going to carry my card back this way. Come there. And, um, how many are gone now, Sean? 1,200 are gone. Wow. I need a wheelbarrow to carry this around. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> young so man. Yeah, let's come back here because bakers, listen again, these techniques that are very difficult for a lot of people in the kitchen, the design in this plate has made it incredibly easy to do things like meringue. Again, air rating, incorporating All air. Right. I want you to show us meringue and also mayonnaise. Okay, so let's do the meringue. So we're going to start, again, you want to start at that lower speed. We're going to turn this on, and then we're going to turn this all the way up to about about a five or a six. And what's going to happen is as the blade speeds up, you're going to see that those go from egg whites to a frothy egg. Now, I want you to take a look inside here. Already, it's starting to thicken up. And here's, you said it before, you're not getting out that whisk. You're not getting, uh, you know, carpal tunnel trying yeah, to whip up. you're never going to be able to get this kind of result because this is so uniform. It's so uniform. You're going to get the best meringues you've ever seen. And just like that. But look how the volume starts to increase. Yeah. Guys, can we shoot from the side? Yeah, look at that. It went I just want you to see what's happening here. Because this was down, down here yep. when we began. Look at all the volume that that created. <laughs> and that's all aeration, right? I mean, listen, you know, when you try to do this, with other things, and I'm just going to put these. I mean, you want to talk about the perfect meringue and the peaks. This now, what you might do is that. cover the whole top of your dessert with I that mean, meringue and then put it in the oven long enough to get the peaks. Get the little peak, yeah, the and the little brown, brown on the. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you know what you're doing. Mm. All right, so eggless. But I'll tell you, meringue is hard and it'll burn in a hot second, so you want to be careful about that. Um, hey, I need to let you know sell price goes away end of day. I have only 3,200 left. Oh, These wow. are going very quickly. Sold out last time in minutes. This is mayonnaise. What do you have in here first? So there's just a little bit of mustard, lemon juice, and milk. Eggless mayonnaise. So there's a lot whole of people. Milk. Whole milk. Yeah, whole milk. there's a lot of people that can't eat the mayonnaise with the eggs. You can make regular mayonnaise, but the fact that I can take eggless mayonnaise, right? And again, we're going to start it on the slow speed, turn it up to about, about a five or six. Okay. And then we're going to take the lid plug out, okay? And we're going to simply incorporate the oil, okay? And what this does is like we said, it's emulsifying, it's putting air in there, it's, it's allowing you to combine ingredients that normally don't want to combine, David. Well, and you're getting ingredients that don't get along to hold hands. Correct. Yeah. And, and it's all about this special design blade. You saw it. It's not like our other blades. It doesn't have angles. It actually is a disc. And it's, it's crazy, David, to be able to make eggless mayonnaise that is this beautiful and this thick. And it's just about done, David. We're going to finish the oil. And you always want to pour your oil in fairly slowly. And look at how thick. I want to just take. Can I just take the lid off? So of course. Can, I don't think it's seeing here. You can yep. see the texture of that. Now we're going to shoot right down inside. All right. I'm going to see that's done. And now look at this. So, so you made a, a fresh mayonnaise dipping sauce for your French fries. French fries. Now does that look like eggless? No. It looks like the thickest, creamiest mayonnaise that you could actually wow. buy or make on your own. And there's no eggs in that. Rick, I David, have only 2,800 of these remaining. These are going very, very quickly. I don't want you to miss this. These are, this is super, super popular. Yep. The most common question we get is, will this work on my Vitamix model? I have one that I bought 10 years ago. Will this work on that? The answer is yes. Correct. This is designed, this carafe is designed to, to work on every Vitamix made no matter when you bought it. So absolutely shop with confidence because you'll be able to use this air disc for on any model that you own. All right, so muddling. Think about how, how many times you watch those bartenders. They take out that big wood baton. It's you like know what Eric was talking about? Dehydrating oranges and muddling them in a vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah so this is, this is for Eric because he yeah. loves the muddled fruit. But it's kind of hard to muddle fruit manually. Now with this disc, you can actually. that that dehydrated fruit. Exactly. Yeah. This you can take. This is our mojito. We have some citrus fruit in here, some mint, and our, and, our, and our liquor, right? You know what? This is now over half gone. Going very quickly. Get yours before they're gone. Again. And again, because you can put it the very, you can put this on a lower speed. You want to go to about speed five, or if you have a two-speed Vitamix, the lower speed. Because with muddling, you're not pulverizing. No, you're not. So what's happening now? It's actually bruising the the mint, the orange, and the lime mm -hmm. without pulverizing and liquefying it, and just that fast. Dave, check this out. I want you to take a look at this. Okay, this is now that perfect. Now we're gonna do my bartending skills here. I want to see what you think about this. Look How many this. years did you work as a bartender? Well, I did about a year and a half behind the bar in the restaurant business, and I spent a lot of years serving tables, and then of course the kitchen. Yeah. Many years in the kitchen. So this is what is this drink? This is a mojito. Now oh. all the recipes are either in the book or posted with the item at Vitamix.com. Oh, excuse me, amazing. at uh, <laughs> QVC.com. Mm. 
And there's, there's more recipes on uh, Vitamix.com as well. I have 2,200 of these okay. left, and that is all. This okay. price will go away end of day, and you're saving over $46 with our pack up today. All right, last one I know real quick here. This is a just a quick, easy dessert. What we did is we just took some heavy cream, a little bit of espresso powder, and we're going to make a orange chocolate mousse. Very simple, okay? And again, I'm going to get in here, and you can see chocolate mousse. it's already starting. Look, look, it's already starting to thicken up and create that 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 little clover. And just like that, take a look at this, okay? Three simple ingredients, mm -hmm. okay? And I, oh, 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 this might be in honor of the shirts we're wearing, Dave. Take a look at this. For the happy dance. Yeah, and uh, we'll give it a little a little garnish, chocolate orange mousse. I'm going to put a little, just a little powder. Mm. Oh, look at this. Come on. Come on. Seriously? I'm just going to borrow You're that. You're going <laughs> Look, I like that. That's your spoon right there. Mm -hmm. We should put David fun. engraving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Wow, we're not good. <laughs> wow. I love this new plate. It's awesome. Okay. Let me tell you. Started with 5,200. I have 1,600 left, wow. and we are super, super busy on our phone lines. Don't dare hang up. Get yours now while the getting is good. This price will go away end of day today. You're saving over $44, I think on our pack up on our sale price and six easy payments. Mr. Roman, a David, pleasure, sir. great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you wearing the shirt today. Oh, come on. That's fun. Happy days. All right, so if you are looking to pick up my latest cookbook, today would be a very good day to